Hello friends, my name is Manoj from Corp IT. In today's tutorial, we'll see how we can create a virtual machine in DigitalOcean. So, in DigitalOcean, we call the virtual machine as a droplet, and let's see how we can create one. So, you have to log in into the uh, DigitalOcean console. So, once you log in, it will look something like this. From the right hand side corner, just click on droplet. And now hit on create drop droplet now you will see the screen now you can select the OS image that you want I will go with Ubuntu for the plan as I'm creating this for a testing purpose then this is for basic and here are the plan that I can select I will go with the base option and you have to add the storage so i will click on volume i will select as 1 gb for now and this is this will automatically format that and mount this in ext4 as i'm living in india i will select the data center location as bangalore it will select the default vpc now it will ask for a password so we have to enter a password uh, using which we will log in into this machine. So let me have the password. You have to follow these structures uh, instruction in order to get one. So okay. So I have to change it again. Okay, it's it's a bit tricky part as because the password you have to be very careful. Now it are uh, one thing is for us is remaining must contain one upper letter cannot be the first but I guess I already given okay let me give it here so this is over the password with which will go and this is the additional option option if you want you can select one choose a host so will Ubuntu will test test so okay we will give our host name like that this let give a tag as testing okay it will create this into our first project so we'll create droplet so within a minute your machine will be ready we'll copy paste this password so we'll use this password while logging into our droplet okay so as you can see here this is creating our virtual machine in the Bangalore data center. As you can see here, this is VLR. So we'll click on here and we can also see the status. So we'll click, click on droplet. This is here, like when you, when you start creating the multiple uh, instances, you will see here. Now click here. So as you can see here, you get your IPv4 IP as well. So if you want to log in into, we'll try to log in at some moment once it created. Let wait for some time to have this created. So here you can see that you can monitor your with the basic monitoring feature. It's also provide like you can check your bandwidth, server bandwidth, you can check your server, CPU usage, other, other disk IOs you can check from here. In meantime, let's open our terminal or our com command prompt. So as you can see here, uh, droplet has been created. So let's now let's log in into this machine. So 
what will we do? We'll do SSH, SSH. What is the default, um, the user that is root at the rate our IP 142.93.215.174. We'll click enter. It will ask me for a fingerprint. We'll say yes. We'll enter the password that went there. So, wow. Now we have our virtual machine created. So let's run few commands to do apt update. Okay, it's updating, and that's how you can create a virtual machine in DigitalOcean. I hope you like this video. Uh, we already created a detailed uh, article on this. If you want to check out, you can check out from the below link. And in the upcoming videos, we'll see other implementation on the digitalization so for that subscribe to our channel so we'll continue on it thank you have a great day